Welcome everyone to our Jubilee celebration this morning. Please stand and join in our opening song. We will be singing verses 1, 2, and 4. Good morning and Good welcome morning. to this Eucharistic celebration, which begins our day of Jubilee. We are very pleased to see you here, all of you, in our beautiful chapel for this community occasion where we celebrate Sister Rita Schilder, her 70th anniversary of religious life, and Sister Beth Ray Ray, sister celebrating her Silver Jubilee. You notice we are remembering also Sister Dolores Blanchet, who was to celebrate her 75th anniversary of religious life this, this, with us, but she passed away earlier this month. So we remember her here with a lighted candle. Our celebrant today is Archbishop Emeritus Sylvain Lavoie, a good friend of our community. He is an oblate priest. He's accompanied by Father Gratian Berkisiak, our part-time chaplain here at Providence Center. And it is a Filipino choir from Edmonton with Sister Diane Thibodeau and Sister Hazel Dalton accompanying them. Welcome and thank you for coming. And we acknowledge the members of our general administration who are here from Montreal. Sisters Alba Letelier, Sister Roland Mallow, Sister Anne Hemstock, Sister Mamer Ngo Amogo, and Jose, Jose Lerios. There are Sisters of Providence gathered here and sisters from many other religious communities as well. They're not only from Edmonton and Calgary, but also from Seattle and from Seattle, Washington. Yeah. Fidela and uh, Thelma and Jose as well. So welcome also. With you. And so we come before our God, aware of our need for mercy, forgiveness, and healing. God of faithfulness, enable us to give you thanks for your goodness to our sister jubilarians. Today they come to rededicate that gift which they first received from you. Intensify within them your spirit of love, that they may always devote themselves to your service and glory. Grant this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. That my joy may be yours, and your joy may be complete. The readings in this celebration invites all of us to be rooted in faith, and then to be living in hope, growing in love, so that we can experience joy in our lives. There's not an awful lot of joy in our world, but there's a spiritual pattern there. Faith, really strong faith in God's love for us, produces hope, that leads us to be able to love, and that leads us to experience joy. So, rooted in faith, uh, what they don't know 
is how much God loved them. And I think that's our problem in our world today. We don't really believe how loved we are by God. Our faith is in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the crucified Messiah, who on the cross revealed to us finally who God really is. When Jesus died on the cross, that heavy curtain in the temple was torn from top to bottom. That was to keep the people away from the Holy of Holies. Now there is no more separation between God and us. And with the death of Jesus on the cross, what do we see? We see a God who is humble, merciful, compassionate, unconditional love, forgiveness, 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 and total nonviolence. Now we know what our God is like and how much our God loves us. I know that these sisters had that kind of faith years ago, 25, 50, 75, to give their lives over, to give their lives back to God and to love as Jesus loved us. And they were called to grow in love. And Jesus, of course, his main focus was always love, the love of the Father for him and his love for the Father and his love for us and calling us to love as he loved us. And, you know, he gave us a new commandment. I, I used to think that's, you know, it's based on the Shema, you know, the grand shame of, of, of Judaism, love God with your whole being. And then Jesus went to Leviticus and this little law buried in all the others one, you know, love your neighbors yourself and lifted it up and put it equal with the shema. I thought that was brand new, but not really. There's a lawyer who, no, no, you're right, Master. You've, you said it rightly. That's the way it is. Now I think the newness is, is the one he gave us today. Love one another the way he has loved us. That's brand new. Look at how Jesus has loved us. You know, can anyone love like that? <laughs> that is total, unconditional love. And he has even asked us to forgive our enemies. So, you know, she was truly living the gospel, as I think these Jubilarians have lived the gospel for all those years, loving as Jesus loved us. And the result, Jesus says, you will experience joy. You know, joy comes from making others happy, caring for others. It's a gift of the Holy Spirit as very close to joy, serenity, peace, joy. These are gifts of the Holy Spirit. And we can claim them, whatever's going on in our lives, because they're not emotions that come or go, they're gifts of the Holy Spirit. And God is sheer joy, and sheer joy demands company. And I think we have another example today besides the Jubilarians, St. John the Baptist. It's actually the feast of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. And it kind of struck me as I was thinking about that when Mary visited uh, Elizabeth, which was the first Eucharistic procession. She was carrying Jesus in her womb. And then John the Baptist leapt for joy. He recognized that he was in the presence of the Lord, his cousin. <laughs> and he leapt for joy. Well, joy comes from faith and hope and love. Sisters and Rita and Beth, through your public consecration to God as members of the Sisters of Providence, you hope to attain the fullness of your baptismal commitment. Your vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, freely taken, have been your way of embracing a life of love bequeathed to us by Jesus Christ. Through fidelity to the charism of our foundress, Blessed Emily Gamlin, you have sought to be of service to God's people. Today, I invite you to renew publicly your intention to follow Christ in religious life as Sisters of Providence. In the name of the Father, the Father of the Son, of the, the Holy Spirit, I, Elisa Petra Rai, I, Sister Rita Schiller, wishing to renew my consecration to God as a sister of providence, take a new to our provident God the perpetual vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience under the authority of the congregational leader and according to the constitutions of the sisters of providence. The most humbly supplicate the divine mercy through the through infinite the merits of our, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the intercession, intercession of his glorious mother, and the prayers of the patron saints of this institute, to graciously accept 
to renew one of these vows and to grant us the grace of being faithful to them. Amen. And we respond. Sister Jubilarians, we are privileged to join you in praising God for the many blessings granted you as you renew your commitment. May your life and example be a support to us as we live out our own vocation. Amen. Congratulations. Loving providence, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for our sister jubilarians who are signs of God's providence and loving fidelity to the world. Loving providence, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the jubilarians' families and friends, both those present and those who are with us in spirit, for their love and support. Loving providence, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the sisters of providence and ask that they continue to be bearers of hope to the sick, the poor, and those most hesitant to make their needs known. Loving providence, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for our collaborators and Providence associates who assist us in carrying out the mission of the Sisters of Providence. Loving providence, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for vocations to religious life, in particular to the Sisters of Providence, that God's providence may be better known and loved. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold of the coming of the world's Savior and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other an appropriate sign of peace, whatever that is. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace to Christ. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, who forgives us and heals us, who makes all things new. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb.
We have partaken, O Lord, of the body and blood of your Son, which you have given us on this joyful anniversary, this jubilarian anniversary. Grant, we pray, that our sisters, Beth, Rita, and Dolores, may proceed happily on the journey toward you, which Dolores has already finished and which has already long begun. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We bow our heads and ask God's blessing. May God, the inspirer of every good resolve, foster your purposes and strengthen your hearts that what you have promised you may keep with persevering faith. Amen. Amen. May God grant you to hasten in the joy of Christ along the narrow way you have chosen, rejoicing to bear the burdens of your brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. May the charity of God make of you a family brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the image of the love of Christ. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who have gathered for these sacred rites to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and joy to love and serve God in one another. Thanks be to God.